One minute. One, One minute. minute. We have five minutes. <laughs> Kidding. I know. Oh, we're changing a song last minute, right? That's that's what I heard. Yeah, grab as y'all get that. Fashion big and strong, everybody. Here we go. That's it. Watch our swallow here a little bit. Let's swallow the song. Let's swallow. Yes, guys. Find the track, Alec. All big. Three. Let's keep singing. Let's keep singing, everybody. Yeah, first, 
So our team has something really, I'm really so special. I can't wait. I'm it's so It's going to be great. Everyone, y'all are going to want to stay seated. Our team, our creative team and worship team has a special song in store for this Christmas season to celebrate how great God is. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works that have made I see the stars I hear the rolling thunder thy path throughout the universe displayed then sings my son there. It was a brisk night, the routine of looking at the night sky, searching with squinted eyes and not finding, but still hoping. This was a routine that I was used to, a prophecy that was given to generations and generations of wise men before me. We were all waiting for a new king. I remember my grandfather told me what it would be like. He said, this star, it will bring great change near and far. And because of my father and my father's father's devotion and commitment to watching and waiting, I trusted that this Messiah, he was in fact coming. It was prophesied there would be a king. And so the North Star that was the sign to seek. But that night, oh, what a night. It was the night that we had waited for our entire lives. We were on the east side of Judea. 
The breeze smelled of oak and fig. It was bittersweet, fresh, and dewy. And we looked up, and there was the light. It was time the king had arrived. The star illuminated the night sky, and its brightness brought an excitement that we were so delighted in. It shined in its perfect design, bringing us all hope and peace. Could it be that this was the star we were waiting for, a longing? The king? Could it be a fulfilled prophecy? Could this be the thing we were waiting for for centuries? Could it be that the king of the Jews was born? Could it be the savior of the earth born from a virgin? Could it be that this happened during our time here on earth? With my camel in my hand and my belongings on my back, I knew that we had a journey ahead. From Judea all the way to Jerusalem, to the ultimate journey of worshiping the baby. Emmanuel, he was here. Have you ever needed hope, light in the darkness, a brightness within the dark skies of life, a savior? I did, I do. So when I saw the star, I gladly, surely, absolutely, undoubtedly was going to follow the destination to get to this king, and I was going to follow the Enjoy. light. Enjoy.
lights went out When death had claimed his victory The king of love had given up his life The darkest day in history Three, four There on a cross they made for sinners for every curse his blood atoned One final breath and it was finished But not the end we could have known Three, four For the earth began to shake
grateful, so grateful that you chose to come spend time in the presence of God, to spend time with His church. I want you to know that if you are somebody who responded to Craig's message today, we have a team of pastors and care leaders who would absolutely love to connect with you, to pray with you. So if that's something that you need, if you need to chat, if you need someone to pray with you, please um, make your way towards our care room, which is just off to my right here um, in the lobby. We would love to connect with you. And for the rest of you, I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Come back tonight at 4 p.m.